Welcome to Techno TV. This is uh, Dylan Lumen, Oris Kabat, and Ryan Carney. That's what we talk. This is his USA debut right here at Kelly's Mission Rock. So, first of all, we want to thank you for coming over here. I want to say thank you very much for bringing me over here. It's, been pleasure. it's a pleasure for us because we like to bring producers over here that are talented but not quite up and coming. So we want to see them in two to three years from okay, now okay. up there. Well, I'd, so rather we do, want I'd, to rather, I'd rather do it in a faster time. But than it obviously, <laughs> we hope so too. Yeah. So the question in the matter is right now, what do you think it's going to take for you to get to that level? You know, like production. You've already done plenty of remixes. I, I'd have to say about 15 in the last yeah, well, two years I think and about five actual productions from that's yourself. That's probably the problem. I'm not actually quicker than I because I'm not focused on An the, ori album? the original stuff that I'm doing. But in the last like six or seven months, I've really gone into the studio, uh, concentrated on the original work right across the board, from trance to techno, tech trance, and um, I've worked really hard. And I think over the next few months, a release is coming out on Subculture, on Garuda, and I'm launching my own label as well, which will focus on which kind label? of more what are you thinking about uh, per per Carnage. Carnage oh, I love that. Carnage, so you can remember how to say it. Properly, I will remember yeah. that. I'll remember that one year from now, okay? <laughs> one year from now. No, no, I want you to, I want you to remember it. Five I will. Minutes from now. I but will yeah. remember it right now. It's going to focus on like sort of like a little bit off center music, not so, stuff that so I've A little everyone, bit more hard instead of progressive, not, of course. Not, not, not really more hard, just a little bit different to what everyone else is doing. But I don't really like doing what everyone else does, so I like to try, try, try to be a bit unique, bring something different to the scene rather than just do what everyone else does. And, do it like that so fingers crossed they can bring something different into the scene that's not already there we're talking about today ryan let's talk about yesterday where did it start for you where did you begin where did the edm love like conceptualize uh, it all started about 10 years ago when i got my first set of decks and i just started off in my bedroom and worked my way up on like really small radio stations dj and dj and then in 2002 i met john o'callaghan in a club uh, this is when the two of us were like just two just so two normal guys. You and JOC. And we like me and John were making tracks before like anyone knew who John and Callan or myself was. And I gave John Callan his first ever mix on the radio and stuff like that. But obviously John has this So incredible, you were technically before JOC? Not technically before we, 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 we DJing wise, yes, but John is an incredible talent as He's one of those like you know, those John, DJs in my, does a great in my job. personal opinion he is the most First of all, I'm the best producer in the world, and I'm not just saying that because one of my friends. I'm yeah. saying that because it is the actual truth. And you can see that in the last two albums he's done. Everything that he does, he, whether it's house, techno, trance, he, he does that every single time. So he's, he's an absolute credit to himself, and he's really, really proud of himself. He's, a, he's after putting Ireland on the map with regards to electronic dance music, so hope to continue on with the good work he's done. I actually interviewed John O'Callaghan back a few months ago, and he actually mentioned Ronnie Kearney as a possible act to bring out the MCI report. Yeah. Now we have you here tonight. Like what can we expect from you tonight? You don't expect it. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. All I have to say is if we're not expecting it, what can we expect in the future from Kearney? Right. Kearney. 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 <laughs> what, 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 like upcoming, like is there an artist album coming yeah, up? Is I've, there, uh, I've decided I am going to start working on an artist album. The project name for the album is going to be Kaizen, which is a Japanese term for continuous improvement. Unfortunately, in, in the English language, there's no actual praise for the word continuous improvement. So that's what you're going to name your record label. So I'm going to call it Kaizen. No, Kearney's Records is named my label. But a little different. Kaizen is named my album. But it's, it's not going to be like trans techno. It's going to be like a proper artist album where I'm actually going to try and test myself. A little bit in between. So it's like It's going to be like, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to try and do something. I'm going to really try and challenge myself in regards to testing myself as a producer. It's not just okay. going to be like straight down the middle, uh, banging. Techno banging tracks. So you're gonna it's gonna be that like second or third track in the set and everyone loves it because yeah. they're like, I don't know what's going on. I love this because it's hitting hard, then it has this vocal, that then it has the, this trance. That is the exact sort st of stuff I want to happen in my sets. I want people to stand there going like is that hard or just off, is that banging? It's yeah. just so, no, it's it's just, just Brian Kearney. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's in Kearney, capital K, <laughs> and Kearney. We do it right now. Here's the question I have to ask you. This is your Good. debut Good here at fucking San Francisco. Yeah. What do you think about the culture here? Because every culture is different. You go to Europe, you go to Ibiza, even if it's in Europe, the culture is different between it's, city to it's, city. It's, so what do you think about San Francisco? It's, it's, it, I have to say it's really, really good. It's really refreshing. Like, not everyone inside is, is drinking alcohol. Everyone just, there's a lot of people inside are just sitting there for the music. Because yeah. obviously you can't drink because it's a 21 drill. 
Well, back at USA. home. Well, back, that. Well, back at home, it's like nearly a reverse back in Ireland because a lot of people just go to the club because they want to go and have a good night out and enjoy themselves, whereas they're obviously all going to be really, really so drunk on hear, alcohol. People here seemed, more enjoy the music. They, they enjoy the music rather than just the alcohol, so it's, it's a very refreshing thing to see and hopefully it can build up build on that. But it's really good to see because I think San Francisco, I've seen some of the, the DJs here are going to be playing here soon. So it looks like it's really, really strong. It's, a, it's on Mountain the rise. Hall, it's on yeah. the rise. Overall, in, in the US, it's on the rise. I think uh, last year, EDC, so two years ago, was about almost 50,000 people. Then it went up to about 70,000. And then it went to about 130. And this year, who knows? Who really knows? That, that, that was fantastic. I'm feeling like. I'd rather people go and see dance music than go and see. Uh, Lincoln Park. <laughs> Lincoln Park is good, but it's not Lincoln as Park. good as you. <laughs> So All right. So we would like to once again thank you for coming here to San Francisco. We hope to uh, see some really like impressive say, stuff here set. No problem. Or well, Paul here. This is Brian Kearney and Dylan Lumen. There we go. Thank you very much. And you're on Techno TV. Thank you. Hell yeah.